Hello? Hello. All right. Here we go. Hey guys, it's Justine. And I'm Jenna. Welcome to episode 36 of the Same Brain Podcast. Roll that intro. They see me rolling that intro. It is a late pod. It is a Friday night. We were trying to record this earlier in the week and just wasn't happening. It was a very busy week and today was very busy. I woke up at 5 a.m. to prepare for an Amazon live stream. Been working ever since and came over here immediately after we were filming, doing some work. And now it's late night pod. We unboxed today. Are we allowed to say what we did? What do we, I think it's, yeah. yeah. Okay. We unboxed the Microsoft Surface Hub 2. This thing is massive. It's a 50 inch display. If you guys have seen, well, if you guys watched the CES live coverage, we had like the 85 inch there. Oh my gosh. And this one is 50 inch. It is in my living room right now. It's so it's cool. basically just like a big surface, like a Surface Pro X. Yeah. Just massive, a massive tablet, but in the form of a PC. And it's on like a little cart, which you can wheel around. Made now, by Steelcase, custom. Yeah, and it's very new. You know, you've only had it for a couple hours. So it's gonna be a very exciting time. I think that it's really going to take our collaboration to the next level. I'm gonna be doing Teams meetings on it. Um, I'm also gonna be seeing if I can drink two of these bottles of water during the podcast. Do you see what I have? Yes, I saw that was on your Amazon thing. Do you wanna see what it can do? Yes, it lights up. Yes, it does light up. So this is the um, hydrate uh, bottle. So it's a smart bottle, but it will glow whenever you need to drink more water. So oh. right now it's glowing. This is just a demonstration. You can change the color. It's pretty cool. And it will track how much water consumption you consume. Whoa. Daily. And I like that. Keeps your drink cold for 24 hours and it's got this nice flip cap. That's nice. And it's, oh. oops, <laughs> it's the sound it makes when it hits the microphone. Yeah. That's nice. Cause it's, uh, you're not wasting plastic as well. Yeah. I'm really getting into it. Mm-hmm. Although I did this for the Amazon live, st- live stream and um, I just drank, kept drinking so much. So I was like, oh my gosh, I gotta pee. Anyway. So we are gonna start off today by talking about our reviews because that is what we do here on the podcast when we remember. Yes. So thank you to everyone who has left uh, reviews or messages. We appreciate that. And right now we are gonna go take a little read. Okay, somebody wants to know any snacks I should try. Oh, there is a new snack I just got. No way. They're called, um, so I don't remember what they're called. Mm. They're like this organic, like, it's a really bad uh, explanation. Okay, well. Um, you tell them about your snack. I'm gonna look it up. Any snacks that you should get? You know what? I just started eating. I mean, they're, you know, those like veggie sticks. They have veggie chips and I accidentally bought them and then I was dipping them in hummus and I was like, this is oh. a nice little afternoon snack. I highly doubt they're very healthy for you, but I was eating the hummus with pretzels, which is also a very nice snack. These are called Asha Pops. They are popped water lily seeds. They're vegan, paleo, kosher, soy free. Honestly, I think that, I don't know what you're eating, but they were good. They had a little seasoning on them. Very nice. Like a nice, nice, nice light snack. Yeah, and it was founded by Asha and, how do you pronounce J-A-I? Jai, J? I don't know, Josh. They co-founded Asha Pops to bring plant-based superfood snacks to their local community. And uh, Asha grew up eating these in India, starting with the popped water lily seeds. They're actually very, I'm gonna very have good. to try them out. Where can I purchase them? You can purchase them on Amazon. Great, love yeah. it. Put them yeah. in my cart. Yeah, I bought some. There's some downstairs if you wanna have a snack. I just they ate. They are handcrafted so in LA with love. Oh my gosh. Dude, they're really incredible. actually incredible. I ate them while I was on set of this thing that I basically got there at 8 a.m. and then I didn't leave until 8 p.m. and no one told me that like, I was going to be there for that long. That so. happens um, sometimes in the world of the, in the industry that it you're does. in. It does. Uh, hey, Justine and Jenna, this is by far the best podcast I have ever listened to. Your podcast is full of tech, a little comedy, and two awesome people. Oh, I definitely recommend. Keep up the great work and content. Stay safe. I The only thing I would disagree with is I think <laughs> that there's a lot of comedy, but I do appreciate your comment. But this is, this is basically a comedy podcast. I mean, I, I also would argue that it's the best podcast. So, you know, you know, I appreciate like your kind gesture and your kind words, but like, let's no, be real. I mean, yeah. yeah. I mean, it is 4K. The quality is wonderful. I mean, it looks great, except for today. I've got a lot of stuff on my desk. There here. are a lot of things on your desk. Yeah, I have all my drinks because I'm gonna try to drink these two things. How many, did we talked about this before? What is this? Is this a liter? It's one liter. I'm gonna try to drink two 
liters of water on the podcast today. You need to get this um, hydrate mug so that it can connect to your app and it can tell you, you can get awards. No, shut up. You can get awards. Oh my God. Yeah, you can, get, you can get trophies <laughs> to see how much water you can drink. You I, can set your goal and it will flash and tell you. Oh my God. You're gonna, the next time you see me, I'm going to be so waterlogged. <laughs> Like a balloon, I'll just pop yeah, you. It's you uh, like rolling me down the stage. Like, just see what's wrong with you. I'm like, I, don't yes, I got that water. The thing you told me about. I'm like, look at my trophies. So here's the problem. I put this on my nightstand last night because I was like, oh, I'll drink it. And in the middle of the night, like, I was like, what is glowing? <gasps> so a nighttime glow does happen. Um, you know what though? It's you probably wouldn't like this because you can only put the cap in the wa- dishwasher. So you uh, have to use your little hands to get in there and clean it. Oh, if it's not dishwasher safe, it doesn't enter this house. Get that out. Get it out. No, I like it. Okay. Um, this one says the lizards are coming. Uh, love this podcast. You should cover more home kit products. I should, shouldn't I? You should, but you know what? Maybe they should make more home kit products. I feel like Amazon and Alexa is really dominating the space. But, uh, but... There's a lot I'm of just home kidding. kit. I know a lot of things are compatible with both. Which yeah. is what I really What's your I'm favorite shooketh. What's your favorite home kit accessory? Go. <sighs> Don't breathe into the microphone. I can't help it. I'm I would ready. like to talk about mine. Um the Nano Leaf lights actually. Very nice. Yeah, the newer ones they are they just they just work. It's freaking magic. I like my um smart uh, home door lock because I just lift up my watch when I'm walking back home and I say Hey, S word, unlock my front door and it unlocks. So it's nice when I'm carrying a bunch of stuff or like I'm walking the dog and just say, Hey, Hey, S word, unlock hey, my word. I say it. And most of the time, like 80% of the time, my door's unlocked. Hey, S word. Hey, S word. Hey, S word. We have some voicemail, ma- mail, voicemail, we have voicemail. voicemail messages from our friends. Hi, Justine and Jenna. You guys are awesome. I've been listening to your podcast and watching both your YouTube channels from the beginning. Thank you so much. Keep up the good work. Bye. Oh my goodness. Well, thank, thank you so much for the support and for watching and listening. I appreciate thank you, it. Alina. And then we have another one. This is greetings for the best podcast hosts this is, this is ever. You it's guys true. are flattering We're us, but I think that you're liars. Because for our like, awards. I feel like there's a lot of really good. <laughs> We've never had a sponsor. So clearly, mm. you know, we need to tell these. We need to tell that. Hi, Justin and Jenna. You guys have been a huge inspiration in my YouTube career or starting my youtube career um thank you so much and keep up the good work and greetings from finland greetings from finland greetings from los angeles maybe we're underestimating ourselves i am i think we're fantastic oh okay i don't have you know i'm i feel very good about it the quality is good no the quality is good 4k video we've got high quality sound if anything is the problem it's it would be us and I like us. Yeah, no, you're right. Yeah, we're great. And I also want to tell you guys something about today. I have been tipped over. <laughs> oh gosh, I was like, what? So sh- so during the unboxing process of the Surface Hub, it came in a very large truck because it was, you know, it was a big box, big crate. You have to make sure you know the, the tech is stable and sturdy. And on the box, there is a um, little sticky that says tip and tell (laughs) where it's basically designed if the box tips over it will tell on you yeah it's like a little narc machine it's kind of like yeah it is a narc machine i have one on my back you're so tipped over you will should i just take one off maybe maybe i'll put one wait okay yeah it's sticky dude this isn't coming off really Uh oh oh there we go the Uh tip and tell sticker this is an expensive shirt well you did it oh no the shirt has come off (laughs) Oh, oh no. It's sticky. Oh. It's fine. Nobody's looking back there. But I have one on my front. It's fine. You're you oh my got a desk to cover it. Get this get get this. I'm putting the tip and tell on my drink. So it's really this is honestly like I know I got this incredible piece of hardware, but I was incredibly fascinated by the tip and tell. It says the blue beads in the arrow indicate the container was mishandled or tipped. That's like straight up. You're just being straight told up. on. Straight up. Now tell me, did you really tip that box while I can transit? tell? Uh, oh, oh, it's a good song. The only way, I mean, the only way I can think of is like, okay, obviously putting it onto the truck, but like if the whole truck tips over, yeah, you're I think you screwed. get a free pass of like, sorry. 
It was fun. We got to ride the little elevator going up into, yeah. the, into this truck. Justine, you did film a video um, of the unboxing and the, the whole intro and, you know, some, so, some hands on, but you really need to get in there and use it. No, I thought this was going to be my full video. I was like, cool, great video, guys. We basically unbox the surface and then we ordered dinner on the oh. touch screen. And then I was like, great, video's done. And Tyler's like, no. no. He's like, I was like, we got to film an, in, an ending. He goes, well, we got to film, film the video. The I go, I think that was good content. You didn't do anything. <laughs> you used the whiteboard. Yeah. We I mean, really I drew some to, pictures. We need to push this to the max. Okay. Right. We need to get into the maps. Like we were shown some <gasps> oh pretty God, yeah. cool stuff. There actually was. You're right. That's pretty fair. And you know, this is, you know, really just, you're probably one of the select consumers who have this wonderful piece of equipment. You're right. So I think we I really need do justice. To, yeah, we need to really figure it out. Like, I yeah. want to put that Xbox on it. I want to wheel it around. Like, I want to play Pictionary. I want to play Tic-Tac-Toe. I realize this is for um, more so, like, working. Yeah, but, like, it's you really, I mean, it, it's definitely something that is is built for businesses and collaborating. And, I mean, I have a business and I collaborate as well. Collaborate and listen. Is that supposed to be muted? Yeah, I muted it because that's Tyler's mic over there. And Tyler, he didn't want to be on the pod today. But we need to have a special Tyler pod yeah. like, with Tyler sitting here. To be fair, I mean, you guys, everyone was working all day. and have been a, working all day. It's 8 o'clock at night on a Friday. Friday. And he has to edit the podcast. He, or is going to edit the podcast. He's editing it right now. Like, hi, Tyler. We're, hi, we're Tyler. Sorry. I'm sorry. We're, we're sorry. I'm probably editing too. I actually have some stuff I need to edit. I just, there's not enough time. And by the I time know. everyone's like, hire an editor. I'm like, by the time I have to like tell that person what to do, I could just have it done. Yeah. <gasps> I want to talk about the new DJI Air 2S. I keep calling it Mavic. I keep calling it S2. I, I don't know what I keep saying, but, but I, I, I definitely keep saying it wrong. Why do they, why do they drop Air the Mavic? Air 2S. Ma why did they drop the Mavic? Um, I think it's trying to distinguish between the air and then like the Mavic is a separate type of thing, but there's like, and then there's like inspire. I, I know. So I think this it's, it's confusing. I don't understand. I don't understand. Cause I was like the I DJI, but it wasn't at the Mavic air to begin with. I don't think, I think they dropped it the last time. I think it was Mavic mm. air to begin with. Yes. And then Mavic, it wasn't Mavic was air it S Mavic? it was air S. Either way, no. It now it's Air S. Yeah, but I think two, that no, two, I think Air, Air I think that last one was Air S as well. No, it was just it was the Air Two. Now it's the Two S. Air Two. You, I oh my! You know how many times I oh messed God, it up in I'm my confused. videos. I kept saying Two S or S Two, and I'm like S Two. Wait a minute, did I call it the S Two? I don't know. My brain. Wait a minute. My brain. It, okay, because it's the Air Two S. My brain's backwards. Okay, whatever. DJI came up with a new drone. Fantastic. We both have videos about it. I was a day late to posting mine because I went and got dinner last night. And then when I got back home, I was so tired. I was like, well, no, we were out filming it. And then, yeah, you got home and we were both very tired. So I woke up super early the next day to finish editing. And at one point, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I was just like, I just, this is what you're getting. Like, <laughs> this isn't my best work. Like I'm working with what I have. And every time I went out to try to film, it was cloudy or it would started to rain. And I get really upset because I lo like, I love flying drones so much. And I went so many, I, I probably spent at least, well, probably like at least six days that I tried to go fly the drone and it was just too busy in LA or I was too close to yeah. an airport or I just didn't feel safe doing it. So like the amount of time that I spent it was just upsetting because like I didn't actually get what I wanted. And like, I just know I'm going to be traveling soon to be using the drone, you know, as I would use the drone and have some more time with it. So I don't think it was my best video. Um, I got dolphins. <sighs> I got really good dolphin shots. I had two hours of dolphin time, oh. but so I went when the sun was really harsh. Yeah. So it was like one o'clock. So it was reflecting on the water and it was also too bright on my phone. So anytime I'd get close to the dolphin, I like, I was like, was that a dolphin or is that like, the glare. So I, I got a little bit of one. I got some sea lions. That's cool. Seals. Yeah. What's the difference between a seal and a sea lion? These are questions that you shouldn't ask me on a podcast because I have to Google it and I don't know. See, so, so like, I don't know, I Jenna. Don't, I mean, I don't either. You know, I don't know. I'm very upset <laughs> about it. I don't know. I do not know the difference. I'm also going to be honest with you guys. I feel physically exhausted from the day and the last day because we, oh my gosh, we had to go to Irvine. We had to go have a meeting and that lasted a very, very long time. Um, <laughs> we had to go to Irvine. You, you, we had to go to Irvine at 3 p.m. Yeah. Oof. Wow. Talk about a wild time. 
I yeah, mean, while we were there, for some reason, I don't know. I feel like whenever I leave like Los Angeles and go into like Irvine or like out there, like I, I always see a lot of like chain restaurants on the way. Yeah. So then I like, all I wanted to do was go to TGI Fridays. Like, I didn't it was, even see one. I didn't either. But I saw an Applebee's and I was like, oh, I want to go to TGI Fridays. You know, cause it's like, they're all like friends. So yeah. like, they like usually reside near each other. Sure, sure. That's very Did true. Did you know okay, to get a McDonald's franchise, it's like a million dollars million plus depending upon depending location. On location and then you like you may only net profit of like a hundred thousand dollars i think potentially a year so like if you think about it is it yours for a million dollars like 100 you percent yours you get the franchise rights basically i think so I then you still have to pay for all of the overhead um yeah it's something so then when does it pay for itself so what i'm saying then what's the point of franchising it? Well, I don't, I mean, I don't know. Then you gotta, like, yeah, it's something I was looking up. Well, you, okay, well, I need more information. Well, I was trying to find what the cheapest franchise was possible. Why would you want the cheapest one? Because just to be like, yo, I have a franchise. <laughs> be like, yo, I got this. I think um, Jimmy John's. Are they even out here? I just think back to there being one in Washington, Pennsylvania, because I would always drive by. Yeah, it. I think it was Jimmy John's. It's very, very inexpensive. Uh, well, compared to McDonald's, I think it was like forty thousand dollars, <laughs> as opposed to McDonald's. No, I agree. I, I'm. You know, Jim, I feel like Jimmy John's is good. I don't really eat. I mean, I, I haven't. I don't know. Are they out in California? I think they are. Yeah, because I think we got it once. Remember? No, like, we, we got like a sandwich tray. I remember. And then I think they closed down. But oh. Like, oh my God, they used to have like a sandwich. It was so good. You put like Italian dressing on it. Oh my God. I have no idea what's happening or why we're talking about it. <laughs> I don't remember either. Okay, so let's talk about something else. Um, I have, I don't want to lie. I've been kind of slacking on my YouTube channel and I'm not happy about it, but I've also been just, you know, sort of trying to keep myself sane. Uh, but I've been getting a lot of really cool tech that I have, it's kind of like a backlog of videos to make. Um, and Razer sent these new, <gasps> super cool, they're- um, Razer Anzu. Yeah. I posted a video on I my channel did. if you would like to check it out. But it's cool because it has blue like, blue, 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 blue blocking technology. 35%. Which, which is pretty great. But they also have built in mic and speakers. So it's pretty neat. Did you get the kind that can switch to the sunglasses? I don't know. Oh, you did Yes, I did. No, polarized sunglasses, lens bundle. Oh, she did. <laughs> what do you mean? I did no, it or she did, did I? No, you did. I just didn't see it at first. Yeah, oh. cool. So you can also, if you have a prescription, you can get them um, with your prescription. They sounded pretty good. So in my video, I tested out actually using them with my PC if I were like oh. streaming. So I had Streamlabs and the Xbox gameplay coming through from the PC. So it was good because I didn't have to have a headset. I didn't have to have, you know, like AirPods in. And I was just wearing glasses where I could hear the audio, but I could also have my eyes protected from the blue light from the monitor. So it was pretty cool. I am very excited about them. So this is on my to-do list to check out. And this is actually something oh. that I am. Oh my God, I closed my, okay, this is weird. If you replay the tape, I close my eyes for a second, <laughs> like just to like get hyped up about this. And then I didn't see you push that. I'm super fast. And, and it happened so quick that like, I honestly felt like I was transported into like an a arena. Stadium. Like I just got so messed up. Like it's so weird. Okay, close your eyes. It's like everybody's here to see me. <laughs> anyway. Interesting. Cam Link Pro, Pro. Elgato. Elgato, it just, Dude. Really, they have been, actually killing it this past year. It's cra the, the things that they are coming out they with. They came out with the ring lights, Ugh. the um, they came out with the, the, the strip wave, lights, the wave, uh, panels. wave panels. They've got this dude. So this is cool because you can have four HDMI inputs. Oh my God. Can you I, imagine? Yeah, because I can have like my camera, I can have my Xbox, I can have my PlayStation, I can have my Nintendo Switch. And this is everything as the kids say. Yeah, it's, it's a game. You could have four cameras though. Good, yeah, you're right. So like you can literally set up four cameras. That's cause I didn't even think about plugging in actual gaming stuff. Yeah, that Multi wasn't even monitor that wasn't even on my list. I thought I can use four cameras. Then what the yeah. heck am I gonna show four cameras of? This is cool. I'm so excited. I'm, gonna I'm very excited to, yeah. to test that out. 
And um, I mean, because they have like the little cam link, like the little dude that just plugs in with USB, which is cool. But like, this is actual, like you put this in your freaking computer and you're ready to go. Well, I'm excited to do that. And then also because I've been using the cam link for um, just like other normal, like I did a live stream today and I used it for that. So like being able to have one dedicated to like gaming and like other stuff like that. And then being, having that one, you know, just as like a floater. Cool. Uh, the, The, okay. So the light panels are the best light strips I've ever used. I, so I haven't opened mine yet because, okay, so I need to do a desk setup or an office setup first, and then I'm gonna redo it all. So I wanted to show my current setup because I really like it. And then I wanted to set up the new lights at my new desk. I so know. it's like, I already like my setup right now, but I, it's it's gonna be new. I know, I need to do an office tour. I keep saying it and then like more stuff keeps piling up. So then I'm like, I'll do it after. But then it's just, it, it's endless. But the strips, they have the best sticky ever. And then I like stuck them up and I was like, oh no, it's kind of crooked. So I took them down and then putting them back up, they had the same amount of stick. The same amount of stick. And what's good about that is they are the um, anti uh, flicker. So they're not gonna flicker with the camera, which is the biggest problem when filming like with hue lights. Yeah, it's real, it's a struggle. Um, yeah, it's a struggle. So that's exciting. And this next thing I'm actually, I'm so excited about this. So. Um, my friend Mari actually created this Nintendo Switch bag, ABXY. It's a nice blue. Ooh, I know it's a very nice blue. And so basically, this is on Kickstarter. I'm gonna put a link somewhere. I actually just opened a bunch of packages, so she sent me this a, like a couple of days ago, and I totally did not even see it until today. But it's made to carry all of your Nintendo Switch accessories. And what's cool is, okay, so this is like stadium mode. So there's different modes that you can kind of put this bag into. So you can put your Nintendo Switch like in here. And then you also have like places for your for your games, but then you can use your controllers. So the bottom zips into stadium mode. And then there's this little flap right here. And this will allow you to just open this up. And then Ooh. you can have, oh my gosh, it's so cool. Like it's a molded interior in here. So you can put your dock, and like your your actual controllers, like everything in here. It's so cool. Like check it's this out. It's perfect. I know, it's honestly. This was something that I wanted to do. Remember I was like, man, it'd be so cool if like we could create like bags for specific tech. Yep, here it is. It's done. And like, this is so well made too. Like it's very, very nice. This is a very good quality. Yeah. This was done, this was done well and this was done right. And this is still a prototype too. Oh yeah, look at this. We got a little bag back here to put Pretty stuff cool. in. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, I'll put a link in the description, but this is so cool. I love my Nintendo Switch like with a passion. Like I need it to is turn on my um, the best. my Animal Crossing and give my island a little, oh my gosh, it's spring. Yeah, I know, mine still is. Um, I'm still in fall. I have pumpkins. Uh, I'm still in Christmas, New Year's. When I turned mine on not too long ago. Fall, I was like, oh. pumpkins. Yeah, it's a problem. It's a problem. Oh. Um. Okay, so Jenna, yo, w- w- we ate dinner. God, oh my God, we did. We we so had the whipped eggplant again. It was there just incredible. Was a podcast like a while ago that we ate like the same dinner, yep. and oh, we, I ate so much. We made this it was same a mistake, big mistake. Couldn't could barely breathe to film the podcast, but this dinner is just it's so great. Like it's a spicy so, chicken. I had a kale salad. I had the rigatoni oh. and the. Eggplant and the potatoes. Justine ordered the biggest plate of the family portion of potatoes. Well, yeah, because you're gonna take some home for your breakfast. I'm yes. gonna keep some here for my breakfast. Yes. I can't wait. Oh, I'm already thinking about breakfast and I'm Dude, right. just nauseous. I know. Um, Do you wanna talk about anything else? Let's see. What else is new? What has happened in the uh, world? Oh my God, I'm on bestbuy.com. When you go to bestbuy.com, I am, well, hopefully when you're listening to this, I still am there, but it was like the coolest thing ever. So I did this really cool project with them uh, for like Earth Day and talking about sustainability and recycling and stuff like that. And this is so, like you go there and it's, what are you doing? I just want you to stab yourself. Yeah, okay. Oh yeah, okay. So if you go, you'll see some of the top eco-friendly products that I chose from their website. There's also a spoiler. I got a new Farm 24XL. I mean, I knew this because it's, it's been it's, there. It's I keep looking there. at, I'm yeah. looking at the little progress. That's honestly probably like you've done a lot of cool stuff, but I know. I, oh, I mean, and a couple like six months ago, we were on Microsoft. Microsoft. Oh, I know. 
The Microsoft store is so cool. It's like the coolest thing because it's like, I freaking love Best Buy. And then I went there and like my little face is there. And Tyler and I worked on that video and it was cool because it was like, we were specifically shooting that video like for their website, like That's not cool. for my YouTube channel. Like we filmed that for their website. So what was your process like? Was it different? Were you trying to be normal? I was trying to be a little more normal yeah. than like, Lizard turning into a lizard. Turning into a lizard, like in our last podcast, which is like my favorite. I love that episode. It's, it's fair. I mean, I can't imagine they would be calling you back if you were like a lizard unboxing. Did, you know, no. Okay. So we filmed that before we went to San Diego because we went on a hike. Oh. And then we kept seeing lizards. And every time I would see one, I would say, that's me, that's me, that's me. There I am. Dude, we saw this one where it looked oh like a God. snake. So it had like two, it, it looked like if a T-Rex was a lizard combined with a snake. Something it was very, very lines. strange. And I thought it was a snake, but I'm like, wait, you got these little legs, little leggies, little leggies. I have no idea. It was very interesting. Um, You know, I'm excited to travel. I wanna oh. go to Hawaii. I wanna go to Hawaii so bad. I think we should go after we're vaxxed up. Yeah, I just wanna travel and like, I wanna like go sit somewhere else. And kind of get away from people. A Los Angeles, there's so, there's many, so, many, there's so many people. I was crimed. Jenna got crimed. I got, I was a victim of crime. Yeah. Tell them about it. It was 5.30 in the morning. 5.30 in the morning, Jenna it was, was five, sleeping. 5.20 a.m. I woke up from a slumber thinking I could get up and be productive. And then I looked at my phone. I checked my cryptocurrency to see what was happening, the latest news. All of a sudden, I get a notification from my ring alert saying, there's motion. I thought, no, there's not. It's so early. I'm not going to check it. But there but was. something in my gut said, you should click that button. So I clicked that button. And what I was greeted with was a large individual outside of my door with bolt cutters trying to theft my bikes. He freaking cut the, the like, What's the rail. The rail. So, like, my building is very secure. Um... <laughs> Uh, so this is the fact that he was able to get there yeah. in the first place is he's scoping. Yeah. Anyway. So like, I always leave my bikes inside just cause they're very nice and they're expensive, but they were like dirty. And I'm like, okay, I, I feel very fine about what I'm doing. Like, it's fine. I don't want to bring these dirty bikes in my house and they're huge. So I had one of those heavy duty bike locks. Those things are like 20 pounds. They're I, very I got heavy. Like heavy duty bike lock. I put my super 73 and my specialized bike together um, I, so they were locked together and they were locked around the rail. And in my head, when I was doing this like a month ago, I thought oh, somebody could just cut this rail. And I was like, nah, this is a safe neighborhood. I'm not going to get crime. Could you have put it around multiple rails? Yeah. They just would have cut all of them. Yeah. I'm just saying like yeah. one more, like a couple more rails. So yes and no, because the multiple rails were more towards the center. So mm. I couldn't really put it on the tire. And if you don't put it on the tire, then they just take the tires off and sell those for part. It's a whole thing. I think I don't really know. I'm still kind of new to the bike world. One of my friends I just saw on Instagram, she just got her bike stolen as well. Exactly. So, Crime. um, yeah. So anyway, Crime. I, I answer the ring and I'm like half asleep. Actually, at this point I'm up and my blood is boiling. The dog is barking and I, I just keep, go, Hey, Hey, I was like, can I help you? And at this point, the person starts to panic. I see them with their backpack and their bolt cutters. They snap it and they pick up the bike and their backpack is like half off and their bolt cutters. Meanwhile, this is a 75 pound bike, 30 pound, 30, 35 pound heavy. Um, like 75 heavy. pound, uh, super 73. The specialized bike is light, but they're attached together with like a very heavy yeah. lock. That lock is like 15 pounds at least. And carrying it together is just not, like I can barely carry one bike, not awkwardly. Now granted, this person is twice my size. Um, Maybe three times. Probably three, there's a very large individual. So it's like, well, they might be fine. Anyway, I scared them and I think I messed up their plan because their plan was to go down the elevator, obviously, w work smarter, not harder. But they freaked out and they took the stair route. And at this point I was like yelling at them. I'm like, okay, well, security's already coming. So blah, 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 and blah, 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 cops are coming. And I think um, what happened was they kind of just like panicked and just threw my bikes in the, uh, in the stairwell. And I don't really know. It's There's like a lot of other things that happened so in between. Terrible. My first instinct was, well, I can't tell you what my first no, instinct was. No, we can't tell <laughs> uh, so, Yeah, so um, <laughs> anyway, all we know is Jenna's bikes got dented and scratched. Yeah. It's very sad, but at least they didn't steal them. They tried. I had to file this as grand theft and return. 
I they, I have been thefted. She, you've been thefted. I'm very upset about it. Like, but the good news is we do have their license plate number. I mean, you guys, I'm just going to be real with you. You're not good at stealing. The criminals, first of all, they were very bad, very bad criminals. Like, but first the of all, fact that they were able to get inside was kind of interesting, but they're all over all of the security cameras, the entire building, like they're everywhere. They're not face, even wearing masks. No, n- no, he had it on a headlamp, a headlamp. And okay, and mind you, this is like almost 6 a.m. You don't commit crime at 6 a.m. Most people, like I wake up at 5 a.m. Five, by 5.30, I'm out the door. I'm ready to go yeah, do Yeah, you stuff. know why? Because we're working with jobs and we're not stealing from other people who are working. Yeah, crime. So here's, here's, a, here's a pro tip. Don't do crime. Don't do crime and do not do crime with me. Well, yeah, and if you're gonna do it, go, like, 3 a, like 3 a.m. is a good crime time. I guess it's a good crime time. Like it's a good crime. And then first of all, like don't wear a headlamp, put yeah, on a mask. It's just very- You're sad. an awful, cr- I'm no, not even no, a criminal no. and I'm not- You shouldn't, you shouldn't. Do, you shouldn't do the crime. But what I'm saying is if you're gonna do it, don't be stupid. Yeah, don't do it when well, I guess people are waking up. You're probably stupid if you're committing crimes. It's just not good. It's just not good. It's like, not a good look. I would rather some person be like, hey, I need money. I'd be like, okay. Do you have like, like what do you, I would rather just give someone money than being like being thefted. I would I give them know. a job, be like, hey. Yeah, you wanna, that would, that's true. I wanna, would actually have a lot of opportunities. I mean, not a job, because if it's like a sketchy individual, be like, Here, here's a hundred dollars, go away. But I don't know, it's just <laughs> like, there's there's something where I'm like, you know what? If you needed this to support your family, I get it. But like, I also don't get it. I don't know. I, this person did not look like they had, they looked like they had bad intentions and they gave me a bad feeling. I'm sorry. So I was like, I can't go out there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get murdered. Well, I had, yeah, I had murderous feelings in my little belly. I was like, "Uh oh, I'm gonna die." I'm just glad that we've all survived to tell the tale. The cops were very nice. I will say, the police officers were very, very nice. Um, I have, I have yawned for those who are listening to audio. Yeah, I hope that you're uh, awake. And then I also apologized. I was like, I'm very sorry for wasting your time with my very small incident. But the fact that we have the license plate and a description, I feel like this could help other people from being thefted and crimed. But who knows, these people could potentially be breaking and entering, could be doing harmful things. Yeah. So, you know, if we get these criminals off the street and we could save someone else. Yeah, cause you don't know. I mean, they they could be very, very bad people. Dude, it's always, I always think I'm like, what if my door was unlocked? Yeah, they could have came in. They could have came in to well, You come in, it's a different story. Yeah. You don't want to go into my house. You don't, you don't want to do that. Nope. So what's up with you? Any, any crime going on? Um, if I had any crime lately, I don't know what I've been doing. I just was so tired the last week. And then like, I don't want to say that I'm having like some residual vaccine like feelings. Do you think it's just like being, um, what's the word? Old? No, uh, not paranoid, like a hypochondriac. Maybe, I mean, I went and got a, I was like, I have COVID, I'm tired. Uh, went and got a COVID test, I don't have COVID. That's good, because then you couldn't get your second shot. I know, that's that was honestly my big concern. Um, and you know, I was uh, I was awake this morning. I was up, like ready for life. And now after this day has happened, well, and I'm sitting here, I'm freaking tired, it's dude. It's 8 p.m. You're, we're supposed to be like winding down. Well, I guess it's 8 p.m. on a Friday. You know, the kids are probably getting ready to go out. What do they do? I don't know, do you go out anymore? I don't know. I don't, I don't I'm know. gonna go home, I'm gonna take a bath and I started <gasps> watching nice. Shameless. It's the last season, the series finale also just happened. I'm sad, have you watched Shameless? No, I've been watching F1 Drive to Survive. Also, I haven't watched it. It's, it's good. so good. So there's three seasons, I believe. And like, I, I mean, like obviously like I love racing, like we're, we're really into IndyCar. Uh, and so when we went to the F1 thing with the McLaren, I was like, this is kind of cool. And then everyone was like, oh, you should check out F1 Drive to Survive on Netflix. It's so well done. When's the, when's the Indy 500? Is this I'm, weekend? Is it Australia? Australia? Well, we're, into, we're into racing We're now. into racing. Anyway, I've been watching the, uh, the documentary. It's like I said, so well done. It's, I don't even know how to explain it. If you've watched it, it's just like a well written series and it's a documentary but the way that they're able to tie these stories in with all of the racers and then like f- pick up sections of, of this to like tie everything to make it like all work. I don't know, it's so hard to explain, but no, it's I've so heard, good. I've heard really good things about the show from like the last Shot season too. well, it's yeah. incredible. I'm gonna get into it. I wanna yeah. be a race car driver. I'm just very upset because we need to do it. 
why should why did I not pick up that hobby during the pandemic? What did I get during the hobby other than a few pounds heavier? I what pick, have I done? I did I did pick up a few of those, but uh, I I started I, mean, I started lightsaber training. I did um, the um, what's it called the Rubik's cube. That was my pandemic hobby. I mean, we did a podcast and like I started streaming on Twitch, but like I yeah. didn't really do anything. That's more than some people did. No, it's a less than a lot of people did. It's also less than, I mean, every time I see people on Instagram, like talking about all the cool things they've done in the pandemic of their achievements, I'm like, <gasps> but you know what? Instagram's not real. Also, yeah, Instagram's not, not real. So don't yeah. let people like feel that bad. And then I also saw a TikTok where it was like, um, basically saying like how I'm like, oh, well, I'm gaining like 10 pounds. And this girl was like, you know what? She's like, you're mad at your body, which you're still here to talk about. And you're still here surviving. And this body got you through the pandemic and you're mad that it, gained weight, but it also <laughs> made you survive. And I was like, it's true. you have a very good point. You're right. That's actually, that's a, point. That's a very valid point. Um, hmm. Yeah. But now I'm just going to get back into shape. I worked out yeah. this morning. I did the treadmill and the tempo before 7 a.m. I that also, a lot. that is a lot. I think also for me, I, so I lost weight, but also gained weight because I lost a lot of muscle mass. Like I yeah. basically, all of my muscle mass that I had like worked so hard for through like jujitsu and everything like that kind of went away. So I feel like I went like lost that gained my, my piggy pounds yeah, and then now I'm starting to work out more. So I'm kind of gaining that back, but it's, it's tough. It's really hard once you like kind of lose I know. that and that momentum. I'm basically like, if you put a sponge in water and it's like real squishy, I'm still squished up. You're squished <laughs> I'm, up. I'm that sponge. I'm I, It's just, I know what I have to do. I just don't want to do it. It's I not know. that I don't want to do it. It's that like, I'm like, man, I know I need to like cut out some, like uh, some bread here. And like, just, you know, I can't eat that dessert every day. But I just really like the dessert. It's real good. It's so let's, sweet. Let's hear it for the dessert. I think we need to talk about something that happened. What? That we haven't talked about. What? DMX. Oh, I was so sad. Okay, so I was so so upset and like I was like basically in tears when I sent my tweet and I I wrote RIP and it, it came out it auto corrected a D mix. It's pretty bad. It's pretty <laughs> bad. And then everyone was like I was on so many so much hate. Oh, they yeah. were like you're not a real fan. You don't even. I'm like, like it's I was literally. Like, I just deleted my tweet. And I was like you know what you people just like you don't even know me. Shut up. I know I was very very sad and like a lot of people were like. Some of the like only memories that I even had, like uh, probably some of the younger generations, are, like um, of just you guys blasting DMX in always. your vlogs and like always blasting DMX. Always like, playing DMX, dude. Like that was like my not my childhood. Yeah, I mean, I guess like when I was younger, my my high school, my college days, and it's just such a such a classic artist. Yeah, and, and like oh my god, when, like for all of our volleyball games like yeah. i used to make the mixtapes me too right so you better believe we had the dmx oh yeah um, the clean version no but that's course. also something that's interesting is because i would always listen to the clean versions of dmx and then anytime like an explicit version would come on, really I would, yeah i would like well not all the time but it was like whenever i would play it through like any smart home it would always play the clean versions it's true so i just got so accustomed to like the censored or like the clean version and then I think it was, we were actually the at the Razor, Razor booth. booth. I, I know. And they they knew, they were like, we know you love DMX. So let's play this. So they, they played it. And I was like, oh, this is not the censored version. It had I was all like, the lights oh, going to it too. Shoot. Oh, I was man. like, mm. I think that might be in a video somewhere. It is, yeah. And oh. I was like, I totally forgot how how um, vulgar some of the, the lyric choices were. So for our other sister Brienne's wedding in 2017, 2016. Whenever it whenever was. She got, I don't know when she got married. We inquired to hire him to come to her wedding. Did to we play. inquire? Did well, we no, just we did verbally ask. No, we had asked around. We did. Anyway, well, we, we were, we talking had someone it. else ask to, to get this process going and um, whatever it was. I mean, it was, it was like, I don't remember how much it was, but it was still a significant amount of money. Yeah. And our, it it's ended our up biggest, not happening. And it is one of my biggest regrets that we didn't like figure out a way to we get him there. Could have had DMX perform at her wedding. Oh my God, he would probably, yeah, I would have been. Oh. Could you imagine? No. He just seems like a cool guy, you know, just hanging out. I read this one article on Twitter that someone had posted about like their time sitting next to him mm -hmm. uh, on an airplane. And it was like, it was a really sweet story. I was trying to find oh. the link. They were just talking about like, uh, like he, I, the person was just like, they're like, you look familiar, but I'm not sure. And then like they just yeah. started talking and it was just really, really, it was a sweet story. Yeah, there were a lot of good stories that were coming out that people had with, with, uh, 
with our our friend DMX, and it's just so sad. And it's like one of those things too, where you think like, man, you know, this person grew up. You know, this is just a classic artist yeah. who has touched so many lives. And it's like you really don't know what people are going through. You know, yeah. money and power and fame. It really doesn't mean that you know you're promised happiness and you know not like you're. I don't know. I don't know. What I'm trying to say it's well, just no. it's just very sad. And it's just the. I guess the access to drugs as well, especially yeah. when you do have a problem. And mm-hmm. I mean, that's, he was very open yeah. about his struggle with drugs and, and everything like that too. So it's, it's really hard because it's like you, I mean, it's like why, like this is a very small scale example, but like I cannot have like specific foods in this house or I will absolutely yeah. just like destroy them. Chocolate peanut butter. And mm. I mean, I don't drink anymore. I don't, I didn't have like a drinking problem, but like, I felt like I was starting to drink for the wrong reasons. And I was like, I don't like how this is making me feel. Yeah. So like, thankfully it's like, I'm very self-aware that I'm able to like cut that off. But it's like, I know if I ever actually did start doing drugs that I feel like it's a big concern. Well, I think that's the thing too about drinking. There's like this weird thing about societal pressure where everyone's like why not you have a drink just have a drink have one drink have a drink and you're just like whatever i'm just gonna have a drink to like shut you up and then you finally get to a point in your life where you're like i don't want to have a drink like i'm not i'm not drinking so it's like i don't know why there's this weird thing where society and people <clears throat> just pressure you into making you feel like you have a drink and if you say no they're like oh are you pregnant or you like have a problem you're like why do you ask that if someone says that they don't want to have a drink like don't make it a thing just be like okay i feel like it's more common now for people to not drink. And it's interesting because that first year of me not drinking, it was, it, it was, I felt bad for not drinking because every yeah. time we would go to an event, everyone's like, well, here, have a drink. I'm like, well, I'm not, I don't drink. They're like, oh, like you would be like looked at. And then after that first year, once everyone knew I don't drink, yeah. it was like, oh, she doesn't drink. She's fine. Like, so it's, yeah, it kind of became accepted, but you really do have to stand your ground and be like, do you guys realize that no, it, it, no it, means no. It freaking means no. We will shout it from a rooftop for many things. Um, but but and also it's like if someone's not having a drink, you don't ask them. Oh, are you pregnant? I'd be like, if I was pregnant, I would, and I and I wanted you to know, I would tell you. Yeah, and I wouldn't be like, oh, I'm not drinking. It's just idiots. well, the good news is we don't leave our houses anymore. What's a social situation? Honestly, what? I'm not gonna lie. Like I have adapted, and I've adapted very well to sort of this lifestyle because I, uh, there's a lot of times you would go to events and there's just people that, I wouldn't say that like, they're not like your closest friends. And I feel like I value spending quality time with close friends instead of just a bunch of random people. Yeah. If that makes any yeah, sense. Yeah, it does. I mean, like I definitely love, I miss meeting people. I miss like hanging out in those situations, but like I valued this past like year or whatever of just like, you know, hanging out with like our close friends again yeah. and like getting to know people and just, mm-hmm. I don't know. For sure. And I think too, like, oh my gosh, I, I'm now struggling to leave the house. Like once yeah, I'm yeah. out of there, I'm like, cool, this is fun. But the process of getting me to leave the house is very, very hard. And I'm like, what is wrong with me? Like, just leave, just, so, get, just, out. just get out. And I'm like, <laughs> no, I don't know why. I, I don't know. Maybe it's just like, a, I think I might be in like a little like phase right now. Yeah. Like a slump. I think so I'm like, too. I'm I'm definitely in a slump. And uh, even yeah. like our poor Patar and like our management, they're like, Jenna, this is due. And I'm very good with deadlines and I'm very responsible because I never want, you know, I don't, I want to, you know, do well and I want these brands to be happy, but there's just been something where I'm like, I can't do it. I cannot bring myself to do this right now because I'm just, I'm not, ha- I'm not, not that I'm not happy, but I'm not in that mindset. Yeah. I don't want to fake it and I don't want to do this. So that's why last week there wasn't a podcast. I was like, I can't do it. I'm sorry. I don't want, I don't want to. Which was good because I also couldn't do it. Yeah, I just I don't <laughs> want to. Um, my, so my water bottle gave me an alert I need to drink. I also just looked over here and I saw like something like moving. I was like, what are all these blue specks all over the place? Is it leaking? My sand U-line is linking. My U-line tip and tell. U-line? Yeah, it's made by U-line. Oh shoot, dude, there's sand well, everywhere. Tip and tell is- Tip and tell just got freaking told. Um, how much longer are we going to be speaking? Not much longer. I have to pee. And Tyler, also Tyler, pee. it's a Friday night. We Tyler doesn't want to be editing this all night, and he is. No, Tyler is well, our Tyler, our Tyler. Yeah, he can edit it tomorrow or whatever. Whenever it gets up, like honestly, it's better than last week where there isn't one. So that's uh, I today I chainsawed some stuff. Anything good? 
Uh, it was the mats that I got for, I expanded my jujitsu mats. The mats or the crate that the mats the came crate in? The crate that the mats came in. Uh, it was fun. I was like, woke up. I was like, okay, we're filming this unboxing downstairs and I need to make room. Yeah. And I need to get rid of all these boxes. So I had to chainsaw some stuff and boy, I'll tell you what, the first time I chainsawed mm, wasn't good this time. Mm, Professional. I, I, I mean, it took me like five minutes. I was like, we're, we're done. That's exciting. I know exciting. I'm really good at chainsawing. I'm yeah, like, I'm I still need stuff. you to bring my chainsaw or your chainsaw over because I have a thing that I need to get chopped up. So maybe okay. if you want to come over this weekend, do a little, yeah, maybe, <coughs> maybe we can <coughs> test out your bike, see if it's <coughs> working. <coughs> you can go for Please, ride. I haven't tested my bike out yet. Yeah, we'll do that. It might, it might be injured. Oh, I was upset because they broke my phone mount. <sighs> and then I went down the stairs and I saw a piece of a reflective something. And I was like, Ugh. Ugh. and then I saw something else was all scraped up. And I was like, Ugh. like my specialized bike. It's like a $4,000 bike. I mean, granted, they did give it, like, give it to me to review and stuff like that. But like, that is a very nice item that has been damaged because of a criminal. Yeah. I would smack that person so hard in the face. Violence is not the answer unless you deserve it. But I was very upset. Like you, that is my property. Back off. It's her property. That's it. You see that? Yeah. Yeah. That knife isn't legal. It's not legal to Today, um, <laughs> we are unboxing the, the service and we actually unbox it in like a box truck, like a massive, like, an, like, like, a, like, a, like a freight truck. Wheeler. Huge. Two, four, um, six, eight, ten. And the guy was like, "Do you uh, do you want to do you need a knife?" Oh, I just I just pulled Please this out. Me. I'm not going. I'm not going to do don't it. Stab me. He's like, "Oh, okay, you're good." I'm like, "Yeah, we good. Yeah, we good. Yeah, we good." Oh, speaking of knives, which um, we're talking about lightsaber. I I have four lightsabers that have come in. This is exciting. I'm very excited. We have to learn a routine. We do, and so there's a mount that goes in between them, so you connect the two, so you can have one. oh dual. Yeah, it's going to be so cool. So I just started working on staff spinning now. Yeah. Which it's kind of it's different because the staff that I have is like it's a padded it's a padded one. Yeah. And it's so much heavier than these lightsabers that I've been spinning. Oh, your little wrists are weak. They're yeah, they are. Well they're actually like I'm actually gaining some muscle right here from like doing stick fighting. So I'm it's a nice. Um my uh, my thumb Do you wanna feel it? No. Do you my feel thumb it? has been having severe pain. I don't know if it's arthritis or carpal tunnel, but I actually am losing um, like feeling oh. and strength in this thumb. Like I have a muscle right here too now. Well, you have oh, my little arm is so little. Oh, that's no, that's hard. Yeah, yeah, that's thick, like a good thick. That's nice. Oh, maybe mine's not so impressive I now. Oh, you thought that was nice. Yeah, you know why. Tempo? No, get out of here. <laughs> okay, no biceps. No biceps. Yeah. Touch. A bit. yeah, that's nice. It's a little squishy. That's nice. Yeah, that's <laughs> I haven't been <laughs> Our t-shirts are, will be coming soon and just saying, yeah, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that's, yeah, that's nice. We'll put it up tonight. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's gonna nice. do that. Yeah, that's nice. Dude, I would wear that. Yeah, yeah that's, that's nice. nice. <laughs> yeah. Is, it, is, there gonna be, is there gonna be a, a comma? Yeah, that's nice. Like, yeah, that's nice. Or just, yeah, that's nice. I don't know if there's a comma because I feel like you just say, yeah, yeah that's, that's nice. nice. Yeah, like, that's feel, nice. It feels like there's a pause. Do you think it would be like Y-E-A-H? Or like, yeah, that's nice. Y-E-A-H. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, nice. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, I'm excited for the new March coming soon. Me too. And Justine's going to be in charge of that. I would remind her. I'm going to go to bed now. I don't want to be here right now. <laughs> you live <laughs> here. Oh, shoot. I still don't want to be here. You guys, I'm so overwhelmed because- Same, I have so much to do. I physically am unable to move about the cabin because of my hoarding tendencies. So I, so today I did my Amazon live stream um, and then I came right here. So you know what's in my office right oh, now? Oh no. <laughs> There's just smart home accessories <laughs> scattered about and I have to like reset everything up. So yeah, it's gonna be, and I wanna do some, some more Twitch streaming too because I haven't been doing any. So yeah, we've got a lot to do, but anyway, we're gonna wrap this up. Keep it short. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching or listening. Make sure you leave us reviews on Apple Podcasts yes, as we well love as those. voice messages, anchor.fm slash same brain. You can also subscribe to us, youtube.com slash same brain. We are also same brain across the board. And we do have merch. Yeah. There will be a link in the description or the YouTube things. It's probably flashing. Same brain dot spreadshirt something. That's it's not the accurate. Same spreadshirt. S same brain on Just spreadshirt. Just look up same brain spreadshirt. Like do a Google. We love that.